And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Severe drought and the depleting groundwater has forced people of western Morocco to turn to the Atlantic Ocean for survival. In the small village of Bedoza, mobile desalination stations called monoblocks convert seawater into drinkable water, providing a lifeline to thousands. 44 stations have been established so far, serving nearly 45,000 people. Our report gets you all the details. In the dusty villages of western Morocco, hope has become as scarce as water. The parched earth cracks beneath the feet of people who are wandering the streets, clutching empty buckets. Their eyes scan the horizon in vain. No clouds, no relief. Just the relentless glare of the sun and the harsh reality of drought. In the fishing village of Bedouza, survival has taken on a new meaning. The proverb, necessity is the mother of invention, rings truer than ever here. Faced with the devastation of their land and the absence of groundwater, the people of Bedouza have turned to the unthinkable, the Atlantic Ocean. Thanks to innovation and desperation, the salty waves that lap at their shores are no longer just a reminder of what they can't drink. Instead, they represent a lifeline. Through mobile desalination stations, small compact units known as monoblocks, the salty ocean water is slowly being transformed into drinkable water. We have had water from Bedusa for 35 years, but for the past three or four months, the water supply has decreased in our region and in the city of Safi. However, with the seawater desalination process, we have started benefiting from water delivered by tanker trucks. Thank God, things are going well today. Since 2023, Morocco has installed 44 of these portable desalination units. While they can't restore the once fertile lands or replenish the rivers, they do quench the thirst of thousands. These stations have become a beacon of hope in a landscape where desperation was once the only constant. The monoblocks are delivering water not just to Bedouza, but to the remote corners of the country where drought has tightened its grip like never before. The groundwater is gone, the wells are dry, and the only respite comes in the form of tanker trucks delivering the desalinated water. For the residents who receive this liquid salvation, these trucks are nothing short of a miracle. The three plants are located in the province of Safi, specifically in the communes of Bedusa, Yir, and Machate. They have a combined daily capacity of 1,800 cubic meters per day, which practically covers the needs of 45,000 residents across all the rural areas of these three communes. Morocco's authorities are doing what they can, but with the country on the brink of environmental collapse, plans are underway to build 219 additional desalination stations. The situation in rural Morocco is dire. Water levels in the dams have plummeted and underground reservoirs have been exhausted. Nearly three million people are in urgent need of drinking water and the crisis shows no signs of abating. The World Resources Institute warns that by 2040, Morocco could face extremely high water stress, exacerbated by a projected 11% drop in rainfall and rising temperatures. Already, the country's vital agricultural sector, which employs about a third of its working population, is under threat. Official figures suggest that the area under cultivation is shrinking. From 3.7 million hectares in 2023, it's now an estimated 2.5 million hectares in 2024. The land, once bountiful, is withering under the heat of climate change. For now, the waves of the Atlantic continue to offer hope. But will they be enough to save a nation on the edge of drought-induced disaster? Morocco's future hangs in the balance. With the promise of more desalination stations as a fragile thread keeping thirst at bay, the question is not just whether Morocco can endure this crisis, but whether the world is ready to confront the growing threat of water scarcity before it's too late. 
First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, everything you need to know about how America votes, and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.